So elections are deeply revealing. You learn who believes what all of a sudden. On a huge scale, 350 million people expressing preference. Turns out there are differences between voters, for sure, and especially this year. Jason Whitlock has thought a lot about this sort of fantastic piece about it. Today's without kick com, of course. We're happy to have him on tonight. Jason, thanks for coming on. So what you've thought about it, what do you think we've learned about the differences between the campaigns and their voters? Yeah, I think this 2020 election is a parable about the power of love versus the power of hate. And I think, and again, I'm not talking about Donald Trump and Joe Biden and specifically, they're not the parable of love and hate. I'm talking about their supporters. And Donald Trump's support is coming from people who love Donald Trump, who unconditionally love Donald Trump to the point that they will risk their health and go maskless to rallies of thousands of people. They'll risk their reputation to be accused of being racist and sexist. They'll risk their safety in terms of being attacked by Antifa or Black Lives Matter. They love Donald Trump. Biden supporters hate Donald Trump. That is their energy source. It has nothing to do with Joe Biden. And so this is about, can you take hate and turn that into something that's a winning formula for you? Is hate a more powerful motivation for a base of supporters? And is that how we're gonna be deciding elections and deciding who we support? Can we rally enough hate of the opponent to win an election? I think it's a a sad statement about where we are uh, in this society as it relates to politics. I think it's a sad statement on where we are in terms of our relationship. This was a country founded on Judeo-Christian values, and we are moving completely away from that. God is the embodiment of love, and we're a society that seems to be embracing and favoring hate and empowering hate. And if this election swings for Biden. It's a statement about hate and its power to conquer love if supported by what I believe is corruption. I've thought about this election a lot. I've never thought about it in that way. That's a clarifying and very smart way to frame it. Why do you think, I can't resist asking you, why do you think Donald Trump's supporters love him in the way they do? Uh, because he's actually expressed a set of ideas and beliefs that he stands firm on. I think this has been the case with most popular and beloved presidential candidates. You actually know what they believe and and what they're going to stand for. As it relates to Joe Biden, we just don't know. Again, President Trump stands for a wall, America, uh, (laughs) America first, bringing manufacturing jobs back. He... He stands for things and he actually has expressed ideas. It's no different than Barack Obama. He was all right. about re- revamping the healthcare system. People love that. As it relates to Joe Biden, we don't know. I had to look up this morning and I'm not trying to be facetious. I didn't know his slogan. Yeah. Well, I don't. I think that's such a smart point. I'm glad you made it. Jason Whitlock, thank you very much. Thank you.